Only on 12 News, survival secrets. What happens when you order a ride share and then realize you're in the wrong car? It really is a scary situation, and it happened to a woman from Tucson who thought she was going to die. I knew I was in a very dangerous situation. It could have been the last ride for Elizabeth Suarez. I'm in a stranger's car. Las Vegas, Nevada. So I have no idea what's going to happen next. July 13th, 2018, about 3 a.m. My friends and I decided to go out, do some dancing, do some gambling, you know, normal Vegas things. At the end of the night, Suarez called a ride share to go home. She got in a car that was the wrong one. You know, when your real ride contacted you, mm -hmm. what was that feeling like? I was in pure shock. Did you think about calling 911, calling a friend? Oh, Anything. absolutely, absolutely. It's the first thing that came into my head, but I didn't know if he had a weapon and I didn't know if he was capable of harming me. So she stayed quiet, texting her friends and Snapchatting. And did you think that this could be it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that was one of the reasons I Snapchatted it. I put it on my story because for any reason, if I didn't make it out, at least my, my friends and family would know what, was, what happened to me that night. Finally, her driver pulled over in a parking lot, demanding all her belongings. She gave him everything, but instead of letting her go, he started driving. That's when she jumped out. All I was thinking was get out and get out now. I might not have another opportunity. This is my only one. Take it and run with it. Her escape caught on camera. That's her right there on the ground after she threw herself from the car. She ended up breaking her ankle, fracturing her wrist, and getting seven staples in the back of her head. Did you think that you were going to die? I thought I was going to die when I found out I was in the wrong car. Just, it takes 20 extra seconds to check the license plate, check the driver's picture, don't say your name, and that could potentially save your life. When it's dangerous, it's very dangerous. Denise Regent Lee, a self-defense and safety expert, has a few more tips on how to fight back. First, prepare your purse. You know, a pen could be could be a good weapon when needed, or your keys. Share your trip. Just make sure you let somebody know uh, where you're going and what time you expect to arrive. Next, confirm your car and driver. And if you do get in, all right, Denise, now we're in a vehicle and we've discovered that we are in the wrong car. That's not a ride share. What do we do? You need to end the ride as soon as possible. If the driver doesn't let you out, just find a way to get that car to slow down or to stop. And when it does, you get out. Finally, you might have to fight for your life. It might mean undoing your seatbelt, jumping across, and with full force, hit him in the temple, in the back of the neck with whatever tools you have. You also have the advantage of being able to grab and choke him or grab that seat belt and pull it across his neck as hard as you can. There are no rules. Nobody's judging you on technique. You're gonna do whatever it takes to survive. Now Suarez says the driver who took her belongings is still out there. And when it comes to preparing your purse, our expert says you could also include other self-protection tools like alarms, pepper spray, or mace, really whatever you feel comfortable with. And if you have to fight for your life while in a locked car, even if it means that you get into a crash, make sure the driver isn't traveling too fast near people or other cars. Mitch.